Welcome back, Foul Mouth Fishing. All you hookaholics, long time, no see. Lots to get through, short time to get it done in. So, uh, I got three packages. I've got uh, my mystery tackle box, which just arrived on the doorstep. And I've got my August edition of the, uh, the uh, Fish Vault, uh, which showed up a little late. I mean, it's, it's September now, but we got the August uh, issue in. And I've got a retail um, uh, MTB Elite from uh, Dick's that I picked up on one of my latest shopping trips. But uh, we're going to take care of one of those today. And uh, I'll break these videos up uh, and get them out as expediently as possible. So uh, stay tuned. And uh, today we'll crack in to our August Fish Vault for 2021. Stay right there. Alright, so, uh, lately, late dis uh, delivered, but uh, better late than ever, as they say, I've got my August uh, Fish Vault. This is the top-of-the-line Fish Vault, their Elite Edition, uh, similar to, uh, you know, Angler's Hall and uh, MTB. There are gradual grades of these. This is the top tier, then they have a moderate tier, just a regular Fish Vault standard. Um, I was under the assumption that this month was going to have a fishing rod from some of the teasing that they did on their social media. I'm mistaken. That's next month. That's, well, let's recap. Uh, I thought it was going to be this month as in September, which it is this month, September's edition. But unfortunately, this is last month's box. So this is the August box for Fish Vault. This month of September's uh, Elite package should reveal a, uh, a rod. So I'll anxiously await when they deduct that payment and give me my September package. I wish they would just deduct the money on the first or the last of last month and give me September the first of this month instead of taking their payments on the 20-ish, you know, the, the second, third week in, in the month and then delaying shipment until the end of the month, which puts me a month behind on everything, which is just uh, a ridiculous way that they do things. That being said, uh, I was grateful cut this tape. I was grateful that uh, last fish vault was pretty darn good for angler wear as opposed to previous versions which were mostly hunting and camping. Uh, last month was pretty good. We got a, a lot of fish inspired or angler inspired uh, trinkets. So uh, you know I'm holding my breath but let's see if we got another good box, fair box, or crap box when it comes to fish vault. So we get in as I'll see what they got. Oh well, we got the card. No, it's not the card on top. It's the box cover. Uh, we got our what's in the box card. And again, this uh, says right there, you know, the August uh, August 2021 Elite Collection. Uh, we've got Oakley Sixth Sense, uh, Grill, and Spiceology as uh, our, you know, our, our companies of interest in this box. They put a little crepe paper over the top. And you can see right off the top, there's a big box in here and a six cents lure. So, uh, sorry about that. So, uh, let's see what we got. Let's start at the top. Ooh, okay, Oakley. So, right off the bat, name brand, Oakley Crankshaft Polarized Sunglasses, $183 value. So, I'm going to have to check this online and see if we're really getting the assessed value that they're stating. Hold on to that thought. So, in uh, light of me editing, and as I said, searching out prices for things, I stumbled upon something that definitely makes sure that uh, the Oakley glasses supplied in the fish vault for this month are in no way uh, worth $183. That said, it stipulates on this card, the what's inside card, that we have some Oakley crankshaft uh, polarized lenses, but with better observation, as you can read there on the box that was given, these aren't crankshafts. These are valves. So I will be listing, following this little break, 
the prices for both the crankshaft and the valve, as I have seen uh, on the internet. Uh, I'm using oakley.com themselves as my reference point, uh, just because. And uh, it, it'll show you that uh, they're actually on sale. And that $183 price appraisal that they give you or recommended retail, no, nah, not buying it. Again, Fish Vault, just no. Nah. $183. Oakley, I grew up on LBI. Oakley was a big thing. So Oakley, Billabong, all that kind of stuff, big surfer community. Um, it was what we, 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 it was a common, common company. So yes, their their sunglasses are a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. I've had pairs that were three, three fifty. Um, that being said, polarized sunglasses, pretty cool. Uh, ninety nine percent they filter out ninety nine percent of reflected glare. Uh, they are Oakley polarized. They are uh, high velocity circumstances ensures uncompromised protection. Blah blah. I don't give a crap about that. That's all uh, boiler bait marketing. But uh, right here we got our. Oakley glasses. These are in the polished black with the deep blue iridium polarization. So let's try to get in here without damaging the box too bloody much. God, I love these pull tabs. The tongues always give me problems. So let's see what we got. So we got a nice pull drawstring case. It's not a hard case, but it's a nice case nevertheless. And we've got a pair of Pretty decent Oakley, and it's that dark blue polarization, uh, polarized sunglasses. Not bad. I have a very odd-shaped head, so it's hard to find glasses, and I've had problems with Oakleys in the, back, in the, in the past. I've always used the wire uh, rim ones that I can squeeze the wire down and kind of mold it more towards my narrow eye sockets um, because I like it tight on the bridge and tight to the temple as opposed to, like, ballooning out, which typically Oakleys are sort of like safety glasses in their design. Um, but they do fit nicely on my ears, so that's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, polarized lenses. Always great for fishing. So that's strike one point for fish uh, and angler-specific items. Um, Oakleys are always good. They're pretty darn scratch-resistant, and they come with these cases, and these cases actually have microfiber uh, polishing cloth um, uh, usability. So keep it, it in your sack allows you to keep those lenses not only protected from scratching, but you can buff them up before you pull them out each time. It keeps them nicely uh, nicely clean and, uh, and keeps the fingers, you know, prints and stuff off them. So that's pretty cool. They have that for $183. Again, I will list up here um, what I found it online, if I can find this exact same make, model, and version right there, uh, uh, you know, for cheaper. So next, from Grail. Grail Geopress Purifier. So, Geopress Purifier. Okay, so I won't say that this is fishing specific, if this is what I think it is, and if by the pictures on the, on the box, it does look like what I think it is. So I'm going to say this is more camping or survivalist. Um, this is sort of like a life straw uh, on steroids, if I am correct. It is, yes, okay. So... Grail. So what this is, is a water jug, but what you have is two chambers here, okay? You have your cap with your pour spout, it's capped, so you can keep your clear water, your clean potable water, uh, nice and, and sterile there, and you have an external s suction. So what you'll do is you'll go to a fairly clean water supply, the cleanest you can find and you'll fill your bottom containment unit here with whatever water you can get stream or what have you then you have a filtration cartridge here and as you press this down it'll force that water through this filtration cartridge into the inner chamber and thus it filters the water and makes this clean pathogen free drinking water uh, that'll get you out of an emergency situation yeah, this is pretty good to have on the boat in case you're, you know, if you're out at sea, if you're you know, a long fisherman out, out in the uh, ocean and something happens and you end up beaching on an island somewhere, you have a way to have uh, pure drinking water 24 ounces at a time 
um, to get you through a survival situation when you need drinking water because dehydration is a number one, the reason most people die. It's not starvation, it's dehydration first. You will dehydrate long before you starve to death. Um, uh, so that is pretty cool. I wonder if this, all right, this doesn't have some, some of these different brands have a nice pull-out straw. This one doesn't, uh, which is fine. Actually, it's pretty good that it doesn't have the little flimsy accordion straw because this makes it a little bit easier to also use this water to pour out um, for cooking or for, uh, you know, debating a wound or what have you. So that's pretty cool. Again, I won't call this at all fishing specific, although, like I said, I can list valuable uses for it in, uh, in fishing or seafaring, as it would be. But... Uh, but I won't say that this is fishing. This is camping or survivalist. Um, but that being said, they have a $90 value on that. Uh, at the size, at a 24-ounce container, I wonder how many uses this comes with. 24-ounce uh, drinking water anyway, anywhere, uh, reduces or filters out pesticides, chemicals, heavy metals, microplastics, as well as bacteria, protozoa, uh, viruses, and cysts. Um, waterborne pathogens. I wonder how many uses you can get. Most of these filtrations give you several fills and, and, and plunges, so hopefully it has a few days worth of use before you'd have to, you know, replace the cartridge. You'd probably go onto this uh, company and find out where to get replacement cartridges. 90 bucks, I can give them that. I won't, I won't even contest that. Uh, I'm sure they sell these for a lot more, uh, especially in your survivalist sites, um, because they like to bump the prices up for profit. Uh, Spiceology, Isaac Topes, Louisiana Lightning Seafood Seasoning. Okay, catch and cook, I don't do, uh, but seafood seasoning. So you have Isaac Tope right there on the cover, I guess. He's got a little picture of some crab, and it's Cajun Seafood Seasoning. I can go to Kmart, Walmart, well not Kmart, but Walmart, uh, you know, Acme, Save On Foods, ShopRite, wherever, I can pick this up. I don't need this in a monthly subscription package. I do like seeing the snacks. I've said this before. I like seeing the crackers, the cookies, the granola bars, those kinds of things in these packages. Um, but time-consuming cooking materials, seasoning, spices, that kind of stuff, uh, not what I'm looking for. Uh, a little snack bar is one thing. You know, even if they were like crab crackers, I would have taken those little sea crackers, but not so much shake and bake or any kind of like thing like that. Uh, they have this for $10. I'm going to say that's a little overpriced. I don't know this guy personally. Uh, he's not exactly Dom DeLuise, uh, you know, fame, uh, although he's got kind of a Dom DeLuise look. He's not, you know, uh, in my wheelhouse of chefs. Oh, he looks familiar. He, he might actually, I might actually have recognized him. I just don't know the name. Uh, that being said, $10 they have that set at. Uh, again, that's two down that are not seafood or fishing specific. Um, and one that is fishing, more fishing specific as it's polarized. Now we got the next three items in our six item tier. All follow, all these three following items, and of course these are all the lowest price tier, are the fishing dedicated, absolutely fish specific um, items. So, all three of these next items are all from Six Sense Lure Company. Uh, Six Sense Fishing Products, we have a square bill crankbait for $10. That is, it is a Crush 100X. So, we've got a nice Crush 100X in the green pumpkin gill color. Um, so, that's pretty cool. I like, I love Six Sense bills. I mean, Six Sense hard baits to me, are one of the best engineered uh, fishing lures out there. They take a lot of pride, time, and effort into their design, into their, their uh, lure manufacturing processes, the materials they use, the hardware they use, um, and even right down to carving all the things actually do serve a purpose in the way it tracks, fishes, uh, holds height or, or, or water column depth. Uh, all are very key in how they manufacture these. So uh, I love that. 3D eyes, 3D scales, green pumpkin gill. This is a 5 8 ounce, 5 8 ounce Crush 100X. So that's awesome. Uh, two to five foot diver. Um, awesome. Again, 
fall transition, uh, this is good to catch those bass that are up shallow uh, schooling, catching prey fish before the winter comes. So that's cool. Cool color. That's a $10 bait. Six cents. $10 is not, not questionable. Uh, six cents fishing products, Divine Shaky Worm. So from the Divine series, this is their Green Pumpkin Blue Flake. Seven inch, eight count of the Divine Shaky Worm. So this is their seven inch Shaky Worms. Again, I like their the six cents hard baits. Uh, I'm more in tune to the hard lures. I'm not a huge fan of their soft plastics. Not that there's anything wrong with them. The durability is pretty good. I just, um, I don't know. I'd rather go for cheaper soft plastics than, than these high price, high profile names. But uh, I, they have great ribbing on the front end. They have a bulbous tail on the tail end on the back. Great for Ned ringing. Great for putting on a shaky head. Um, even wacky rigging like I have here, you get a lot of movement out of this big bulbous tail. And they are pretty floating, I think. Their plastic saws are pretty high floating. Um, comes in a nice clamshell plastic pack to keep them nice and straight for you. Again, I don't do that. I always take them back out and put them into a, uh, a Plano style box because I can fit a heck of a lot more in a Plano 3700 than having dozens of these little bags of seven a piece or eight, eight in this case um, taking up storage. But uh, there's that. These are five dollars, five dollars for the um, for the finicky fish catching divine shaky worm. Again, shaky head, shaky worm. Awesome way to fish them too. And finally, for four dollars, so we have ten for the square bill, five for the worms, and finally the jaguar hybrid hooks. We've got a five pack of their Jaguar Six Sense Straight Shank Super Sharp hooks. And these are in, what are these, four aught? Yeah, these are four aught. Four aught size, five count for $4. That's an excellent deal. That's an excellent deal. Especially when you know there's hook companies out there, Gamagatsu and whatever, it's a dollar a hook. I mean, Guggen Squad, a dollar a hook. Um, five for $4? That's more like it. I like to see like 10 for $4, but that being said, I know for a fact Six Sense does great hardware. I'm sure I've never had personal experience with their uh, single hooks. I've used their treble hooks, excellent, but their worm hooks and stuff, I really haven't had a whole, whole lot of experience with personally, but uh, I, I hold no, uh, no qualms with that. I'm sure they're gonna be pretty darn good. And uh, let's take one out and see how rigid it is. They're probably not the most stout hooks. I bet you they're a little flexible, especially at their shape, their, their straight shank. But let's see. Yeah, they're they're minutely flexible. They would bend out, uh, putting tension on the hook point and barb. You'll see. It, well, you can't because my finger's in the way because I don't want to stab myself. <laughs> but uh, the hook point does flex up a little bit. Um, most of the flex occurs right here at the start of the U and then down here towards the eyelet. Most of the rigidity is right here in the cove of the hook which is just below where I assume to pin my fish. So that's pretty cool. Good quality, great, you know, not great but very good. For a 4 aught in the upper, I'd say in the upper 5% uh, of, uh, of quality uh, considering a lot of hooks that I've used which were like complete trash. Um, so that, that said, Proud to get some more Six Sense hardware to add to my collection. Uh, I'm typically a Gamagatsu, Diichi, um, and uh, owner kind of fisherman. So this is pretty cool. All right. That, again, $4. So real quick recap, and then uh, I'll get you out of here. The Oakley crank sh uh, Crankshaft Polarized Sunglasses, $183. That's the major ticket price. That's the entire price of this package. I purchase it for $150 a month. Uh, again, this is $49 more per month, or $39 more per month, whatever. Then the Angler's Hall, which they haven't shipped me, or they haven't shipped any, for that matter. Um, so my entire value of this package is just holed up in, those, in these sunglasses. Okay, I will check that price, because that doesn't seem right. Uh, just as a standpoint of business perspective, you can't give everything they should, you know, anyway. Um, 
the Oakley sunglasses 183, the GeoPress water purifier 12, uh, 24 fluid ounce uh, jug is a $90 value. The Spiceology Cajun seasoning is a $10 value. The six cents hard crankbait is $10. The shaky worms, the divin, uh, divine shakies, are $5. And finally, those uh, Jaguar hybrid hooks are $4. Not bad. Um, again, I'm going to say, aside from the water press being completely not fishing, really pulling hairs to get the Spiceology seasoning. It's a seafood seasoning. So like I said, if you're out there catch and cook, okay, it's good to have something like that on board. And the sunglasses, I can go either way. They're not fishing sunglasses. They're from Oakley. They're polarized, but it's not Berkeley or, you know, one of those brands. It's not a fishing lure company brand. It's not a real company brand. It's Oakley. So they're just as attuned to being out on your boat being out surfing, being out at the beach, as it is to being out on your, you know, on your bass boat. Uh, all that said, I personally will say, total honesty, including the Louisiana Lightning Seafood Seasoning, that and the three baits are the only true angler-specific items, and the top two most expensive items have nothing to do with fishing, uh, being the water purifier and the Oakley glasses, although you can use the Oakley glasses for fishing. Um, so that being said, what do you think about this, the August 2021, uh, Fish Vault, uh, subscription package? Do you think it's worth the money? Are they, are they growing more to your liking? To me, they're slowly progressing, not nearly as quickly as I'd like to see them, uh, but they are in, heading in the right direction. With that all said, I hope you like, share, and subscribe to this channel. I hope you subscribed. Uh, that's how you're seeing this. But uh, share it if you, if you found anything interesting about this. Uh, like it if you like it. If you don't, okay, you know, whatever. <laughs> that all said, I, uh, I enjoy spending time with you. I'm going to pump out the rest of these videos, edit them, and then put them out in, uh, in sync as best I can, as fast as I can. Uh, I Excuse me for not being, uh, for running videos really quickly. I've just been hammered with things to do. Uh, I hope you all enjoy your fall. Today's the first day of Fall Wednesday, so uh, for me to all of you, watch out for falling leaves. It is a good time to get out on the water and catch fish on top water, especially with falling leaves. And as always, I will catch you on the next cast. Peace.